Hi guys, welcome to Nothing Geek TV and today I am holding Asus Zenfone Z smartphone. It is a budget offering from Asus and uh, today uh, we'll be checking how the phone performs in synthetic benchmark scores. So guys, first of all, let's check out what the phone is having inside it. It's running on Android KitKat 4.4.2 operating system, uh, running on uh, Intel Atom uh, dual core processor uh, the uh, graphic processors power vr sgx 5, 5, 544 the screen resolution is a normal one the rear camera is a 4.9 uh, megapixel one and uh, the ram is 1 gb uh, the internal storage is uh, 4 gb uh, out of which 3.84 gb is available to the user oops uh, yeah so like i said it's a dual core device and uh, the screen uh, density is 240 tpi let's test the multi-touch so it supports five point multi-touch which is more than enough for uh, most of the task almost all of the task front facing camera is 0.3 megapixel which is basically a vga camera not of a good quality uh, let's see the sensors it supports acceleration sensor light sensor and proximity sensor so basically these three sensors are the most needed and uh, uh, it's fine now let's see the score which n2 is giving it uh, n2 is giving it a 19320 score now what this score means when we compare this phone with other phones so this phone is ranked below azure zenfone 5 which is the bigger brother of uh, the zenfone series uh, Alright, uh, not complaining since this phone is available for only rupees 6000 which is a pretty low amount uh, for a device. Uh, now guys, not let's be content with uh, one single test. Let's move on to uh, Geekbench 3 test. Uh, so it gives us a single core score of 339. Uh, now let's check how the score matches up to the other devices. So it is uh, almost... Uh, comparable to Asus Nexus 7 which is a 7 inch tablet uh, running on Nvidia Tegra 3 processor uh, again Samsung Galaxy Nexus smartphone Motorola Moto G333 all these are older devices and Zenfone C is ranking uh, alongside them so guys uh, thing to notice that single core uh, score is not very important because these days we are running multiple things at a time be it Facebook, WhatsApp, uh, emailing, playing games, watching videos so uh, in that case multi core come into play and the multi core score is 800 of Asus Zenfone C let's see uh, it is really uh, ranked below it's Asus Nexus 7 here and ranked above samsung galaxy nexus which is a primitive device now three to four years old device so not not a good score uh, on uh, the benchmark we are uh, having let's finally uh, confirm the result with a third uh, benchmark which is the velmo benchmark uh, developed by qualcomm it's giving it a multi-core score of 858 uh, which is quite comparable with to what uh, geekbench 3 was giving so again guys as you can see it's ranked below samsung galaxy s3 below moto g so guys uh the phone is fine the touch i'm liking the touch and the build quality but uh the benchmarks are giving it a really low score uh clearly uh asus zenfone c is not a, a device you should go for uh there are um plethora of uh, other devices available at this price point which will offer you more money for your buck lenovo a6000 smartphone is one such device uh, then uh, lava iris x8 is another such device uh, i'm pro i'll be uploading the review of uh, asus zenfone c as well as comparing it with lenovo a6000 and lava iris x8 but for that you need to hit the subscribe button flashing on your screen right now and stay connected guys uh, have a great day see you next time <music>